is V on here's a look at the top stories we're following at this hour. Police in Las Vegas have arrested a 19-year-old for attempting to shoot Donald Trump during a rally. Michael Stephen Sanford attempted to wrestle away an officer's gun before being caught. He will now face trial in a Vegas court. Despite the outcry after the recent Orlando shooting, the US Senate has rejected four measures restricting the sale of guns. Lawmakers, though, are still trying to forge a compromise that could keep firearms away from people on terror watch lists. Teachers have returned to the streets of Mexico after violence marred protests against education reforms. At least eight were killed and over 50 were injured as police sought to clear a highway over the weekend. The reform measures passed in 2013 stipulate tougher standards for testing teachers and makes it easier to fire them. Walmart is switching strategies in China by selling its e-commerce platform to JD.com, the country's second largest online retailer. The deal will give Walmart a 5% stake in JD, which is worth about 1.5 billion US dollars. Wales stormed into the knockout stages of the European Championships, defeating Russia 3-0 last night. Despondent Russian fans were seen leaving the stadium early, about 15 minutes before the final whistle. The win places the Welsh team on top of Group B. England are the other team to have qualified from the group. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is leading the world in celebrating the second International Yoga Day today. Mass yoga sessions will be held around the world with 191 countries set to host events to mark the day. Stay with us for news and updates from across the world on VioNews.com.